it's me, your aunt in LA. Bit of an on location review today. I've come to get these properly fitted. I am here at Perfect Fit by Carol in Bury with the gorgeous Catherine from Elome. Elome, not Elami or Elami. <laughs> um, it's Elome. So what I've done is I've reached out and said, somebody please help me. The bra I'm wearing at the moment <laughs> digs in me all the time, but it is my bestest bra in the world and it does still dig in me all the time. I were always told that if a bra fits like that there, then it fits you, apparently. But I know it don't fit me because it causes me a lot of distress and pain. Um, I am what I think to be a 42 double G. However, I used to be a 40 double J. <laughs> That's what I used to be. Um, I've lost six stone in weight. Uh, my bust used to be really, really, really full here, really full, um, and on high beam. I've lost six stone in weight, and now the, well, <laughs> when I take the bra off to catch them, and I'm very low beam. <laughs> I do have a bust still, I do. However, I do feel that the shape of my bust has changed, mm -hmm. because without a bra on now, they sit very close to my body, rather than out here, so. And when you do lose weight, you look change shape anyway, yeah so, so the, the, the nice thing is that when i buy bras or i think i need a new bra 42 double g is what i'm going for mm -hmm. so catherine is going to actually fit me and we're going to see what size i actually am exciting but i'm no longer this size <laughs> even too big for your head <laughs> it's even too big for my head yeah you know if there's anyone wanting a hammock have two of these so let's get on with the fitting so take my top off and what do you do now? You so what tell me. What we do first is just assess the bra that you've got on at the moment and <laughs> kind of what's going right or wrong with it, yeah. and then we'll okay. go to the size. So, say you were wearing a 40 double J before. Yeah. You've now gone to a 42, but anyone who loses weight would normally go down this band size. All right. Gone down the dress size. Yeah, I've gone up. So we'd automatically know that this is probably too big round your back here. Yeah. So this centre front here, this yep. should be sat right against this chest wall here. That's what's going to give you all your support. That's the only bit I remember of ever being fitted when they say, if that does sit against there, then it fits. Mm -hmm. So the fact that that does sit a bit against there, I thought I'd, I'd cracked it. So there's five things mm -hmm. you do kind of need to have your checklist for. Right. So the centre front is just one of those. Right. Um, but your main bit is actually at the back here. So this is what gives you 80% of your, I'm just going to fasten these hooks up. This is what gives you 80% of your support around here. So what if about, this is too loose, yeah. then this isn't going to give you any of your uplift at the front of your bra either. What's so, this here, Catherine? So this is mostly all bust here. What here? So, People think that all this is just back fat, a bit of loose skin or anything, but yeah. actually your bra should be covering majority of this and the wires should be sat right behind your breast crease instead. So this looks like you'll probably think it's too tight on your back, but actually it's actually too big on your back and it's just too small on the cut. Is that why when we're checking for lumps, we're checking in our armpit? Because actually your breast is still up to there. Yeah. Well, you is, think you bust actually, shots, so that, that's not fat, that's bust. This is all bust round here. Bust. And everyone has where your breast crease finishes as well here, so we don't want any of that breast crease, uh, breast any of that crease? breast tissue. So you can either check it by, you can do this and you can actually see where your breast crease finishes. Right. So when you're stood there with no top on or anything, you can see where your breast finishes there and that wire has to sit behind that breast crease. There. Catherine, do you think I'm wearing it right, bro? No. No? <laughs> so this at the back... This should, I never know what to fasten it on. So it should be on the loosest hook, right. even though you've got it on the loosest hook. Yeah. Well, I, I just quite don't... easily put it on the tightest hook. I just stuck it on what I can. Back. I just don't. I just stuck it on what I can. I'm not one of them twister turners. That's good. I'm not. I fall into my bra like mm -hmm. that, put it on, and then just don't fit vest. So that's the way you should fasten it anyway, because otherwise you can Ooh. bend the wires and everything. Yeah. But with this, it's still on the tightest hook. Yeah. I can, sorry, my hands. Are yeah, you're all right. I can still Cold pull it out. Cold hands, warm heart. 
Exactly. Yeah. I'm just in the wrong job, really, aren't I? <laughs> so this is just too big because I can yeah. pull it out here yeah. and it's riding up like this. So what happens when this is riding up, yeah. the bust is just going to fall down. Yeah. So we need this nice and firm to is... balance out the weight of the bus. Right. So is that why this feels quite flat? Yep. So because, what would happen... because it is quite flat, but mm -hmm. with a proper bra, would it feel more high beam yeah. than low beam? Because once it's a bit firmer, yeah. and this is here, Correct. your bust will naturally be in my mouth. Be right up here, <laughs> probably where they were. Where, but... where they were before the six stone weight loss, or where <laughs> they were in mid twenties. And then once all that's checked, then we can. The straps is the last thing that we. Have I used to, to be able to wear t-shirts without a bra in my twenties. Those were the days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do now right. is going off this bra yep. and going off the style and the shape and things, I'll go and get you a bra to try. We'll yep. try that on yep. and then we'll assess it and see again if it's fitting right, if you like it, and then we'll go from there then. Smash it, thank you. So I'll go grab one. Lovely. Eh? <laughs> I mean, what do you do to fasten your bras? And not just that, there can be times where I'm sat there having a conversation and then I'll turn into Madonna <laughs> out of... Vogue, Vogue. And why you all come up, I'm going to ask her why that happens. Maybe it's way of washing them or something, but yeah, she's on her way back. I'll see you shortly. Put you in the Illumi Matilda bra. So it's nice, it's a little bit lower here. Yeah. It's quite sexy as well, but you yeah. still wear it every day too. Yeah. So it's a nice, a uh, bit lower wire as well, but it's got a nice deep band here. So when you don't want anything, you want it nice and secure here. You don't want anything popping out anywhere. So it's going to give you nice real coverage and yeah. it'll still give you the support as well. They have a nice good side support here so yeah. that pulls your bust right from here so it doesn't spread you apart either. Like that? Yeah. Matilda's my favourite film. Oh is it? Yeah. There you go. So right. So we'll try this one on first. Uh, do you want to come in? We shall return flower pot with Matilda. <laughs> right here I am wearing the Matilda. Can you see where my bra were? Can you see all that? That's where my bra was sat before and now we're up here, but so we're still not just quite right, yeah, are so we? It's much better in the back because we've lifted all this from here now and it's sitting much better in the centre front here. It feels nice here now. Like. It's still a bit small in the cup because it's still digging in here and still getting a bit of overspill on the top, so we're going to go up the size. The overspill though is breast and not fat. Yeah, so we just need to go up the cup size. Right. And then if we look at the back here now, yep. it's nice and parallel to where your wire is and it's sitting nice and flush and it's on the loosest hook as well and there's not nearly enough room like we did in the other one. Um, I reckon there's it's no a, point adjusting yeah. your straps at this point because yeah. I know it's a bit small in the cup, so we're going to go up the cup size. And, and you're not using tape measures, measures, are you? Why? No. Why don't we use tape measures now? So we find all bras, all different brands, they're all made with different materials, different wires. Right. So measuring with a tape underneath yeah. or over the bust is very inconsistent and it probably gives people a false sense of what they actually are whereas if we fit you in each bra we know that bra is correct for you and you know that you're comfortable in it as well if i was fitted today and say i was a a triple a 30 because <laughs> you can get double a's triple a's double b's triple b's can't yeah it's quite confusing on yeah the and the but singles. if you, and if if it's say if i were a 32 double a Mm -hmm. Would I be a 32 double A then in every style or would it might it just depend or it vary on the shape of the bra and right. the brand of the bra? So it's as important. Well. How many times would you say you'd need fitting as a lady? So every time you go out and buy a bra, yep. always get fitted. Ah, okay. um, but we normally recommend every six months, um, and it depends how many bras you have as well. If you have quite a lot of bras um, and you use them regularly, yeah. then you won't have to come back as much. But yeah. if you've got two or three bras, yeah. you'll have to come back a little bit sooner because they'll stretch out a lot. Washing bras, what's your take on washing bras? Oh. Well, ideally they should be hand wash only. It just means the same if you have an expensive dress or something, yeah. you'd go get it dry clean yeah. you wouldn't just shove it in the machine either. Yeah. So it just makes your bras last longer. They're not cheap anyway. No. So I'd say if you look after your bra, it's going to last you a lot, lot longer. It keeps the colour better, it stops your wires from poking out, and it makes the materials stay. Is it true that white bras are actually bleach white? They're not actually white. So if you use a non-biological washing powder, then you're discolouring them. That's why they go grey. They will, yeah, they do go yeah. very grey in the machine as well, and especially... And the, the wires that can nip out and put mm -hmm. in chins, in, in my triple chins, why does that happen? Yeah, so uh, sometimes it's because if you put it in the machine or the dryer, 
the heat of it can actually cause the materials to shrink and your wire can actually pop out right. and sometimes the movement of the spin as well. So and no think, more put it bras it washer. No, and you wash it all longer. <laughs> I'm I'm guilty of I wear a bra. Yeah. Straight in washer. I won't wear it more than once mm -hmm. um, because I sweat um, and I just think it's like it's been close to my body. It's like knickers, isn't it? You won't put knickers on day after I turn them inside out. Um, yeah. So bras for me. So now what I need yeah, to yeah, do that's... is get in the habit of hand washing. Yeah. So especially if putting machine in every time you're wearing yeah. it as well. Yeah. The longevity of your bra will come a lot lot smaller than what yeah. it should be if you're hand washing it as well. But if you do it in the just in the sink at yeah. home and then you just leave them to yeah. soak and get some hand wash liquid yeah. as well, just pop them out to dry flat, then actually they'll probably dry by the next day. Could anyway. you put them out radiator? No. Right. <laughs> Go and get me a bra, Catherine. So lie them flat and yeah. not on any direct heat and not on the tumble dryer. Okay, that's fine. Right. I'll yeah. grab you another bra. Thank you. Okay. No problem. So this isn't just quite, it feels absolutely lovely and I'm delighted that I've got this back. Look at that, because I felt like a six year old boy before. But now, look at that, got that back, which is nice. And I don't know, when you sort of lose it, you lose your shape. I lost a little bit of confidence with my breasts because the com they got comfy and they were a part of me. And when they started, I, I lost six stone and I lost the shape in my breast. They felt a bit peculiar. So to actually get that lift again here, it's making me really happy. So in you come. Right. I'm just going to try you in a different one just okay. to see how you feel in this one. Yep. It's got a slight bit of stretch on this one. Okay. Is this named after a Roald Dahl movie? This is Kim, this one. Kim. So it's not. So we're doing, oh. we've gone from Roald Dahl to Kardashians. We'll see you soon. <laughs> the Kim's not quite for me. I, I really like the Matilda, so she's gone off to try and get me the Matilda that will fit. Look how nice this one is. She's gone off to do somewhere else, but how nice is that? Look, little silver things there. Nice and fitted. She hasn't actually said this is the one and this is my size and I'm not allowed to look, but... Um, at that busty bertha i've got phil and grant right here right catherine have you cracked it cracked it we've cracked it <laughs> phil and grant are in position tell me why this bra and what it's doing that the other bra wasn't so again just those five checks that you need to look out for again so the center front now in your other bra it was really moving around it was standing forward here so this is sitting nice and flush you can see how much it's moved up from where you otherwise are sitting. <laughs> a lot of people as well think red marks think it's too tight, but a lot of the time it's because it's too loose and it's actually moving around the body. It's right. not staying where it should be. Okay. Um, so your cups are nice here, you're not getting any double boob in here anymore. High beam, high beam. When you look at your wires around here yep. as well, you can see your wires encasing all of your bust and this side support's really bringing the bust yeah. to the front. It's not spreading away anywhere yeah. either there. Uh, if you come to the back here, you can see how it's nice and parallel here. It's sitting nice and flush to the wires, so it's balancing the bust out as well. And it's on the loosest hook there. And I can only just get a little bit of movement there. Um, just enough to move, but not tight enough, so she's going to feel uncomfortable in it either. Um, this one's got a nice deep wing here, so it's everything's encased. She doesn't feel like she's spilling out anywhere no. either. And the straps are just nice. You've just got that little bit of movement still. Um, but again, not pressing on the shoulders and not, we're not relying on the straps to take all the weight of the bust as well. Right, so shall I guess what size I am then? Okay, you can guess. Um, so we're a 40 double J, then I were a 42, 44 double G, then a 42 double G. And it were a bit loose there, you said, didn't you? So I reckon I am a 40 G. Nope. Any other guesses? I just want me to tell you. But is G bigger than a double G? G is smaller than a double G. Oh, uh, 40 double G. Nope. I'll tell you because you might take a while to get there. So this is a 36 K. Give over. No. So this is the misconception really that people when they go in. D, G. Hang on. A, B, C, D, F, G, H. <laughs> J, double J, K, 
So I've actually gone up cup size and down back size. Yep. So when that's kind of how bras are made. So every time you go down a back size, you have to go up a cup size. And again, with people who lose weight or change size, they think that the bust has gone down. Yeah. And they keep it the same. Well, back yeah, because size, I've so. lost all. Yeah. So you've still got a lot of fullness here. You can. I haven't going to take my bra off, Catherine. I haven't. No. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm a 36k. Yeah. But you will alter just in different styles. You've suited uh, more yeah. this plungier shape yeah. here. So. If you go for something a bit higher up here, you might have to just try it on and make sure the style so, fits you as well. I think the answer is get fitted mm -hmm. every time you're looking for a new style of bra, a yeah. new shape bra, you've lost a little bit of weight, you're going to a wedding, you're wearing a certain outfit. Yeah. And you ladies really don't mind fitting us, do you? Because no. you'd rather have us in the right bra. Yeah. I can't believe we as well. We enjoy people giving people the right bra and they feel yeah. good when they go out and they're wearing the outfits. I've got the habit of... I'm always usually doing that, poking that, yeah. and I haven't got it. It's not <laughs> where that wire would be poking, it'd be about there, but it's not even. And it'll make such a difference when you've got your clothes on as well, you'll get a well, much more uplift. Shall I pop my jumper on? Because I had my jumper on right at the beginning of this review, if you remember. Yeah. I don't remember what it looked like, but I know kind of what I look you'll like. You'll be able to go back on So, the absolutely. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, hang on a minute. It's one of the funny jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see how much it's brought you up from here so when you look in the mirror there actually you can see how much you lifted there you've been brought right in as well and it actually takes weight off your body as well so where you can really see your yeah, you can. here it's still nice and smooth at the back it's not digging in anywhere either no and even though it's nice and lacy, it still comes up really smooth. It's really nice. As well. It's a really lovely bra. Is these one of the bras that does the racer thing as well? Yep, yeah, so it can do that as well. If yeah, you want, because so. I really feel that ladies of my size, 42 double G, <laughs> um, that have gone to a 36K, did you say? Yeah. Um, I don't think we have much of a of a choice of like the seam, um, you know, these strapless bras or the racer back bras. So the fact that this could be. I think so it's I'm just cracking. To loosen the straps just yeah. to allow for the racer back here. And I'll just pop these up a little bit. Oh my god! <laughs> so this could be one with a halter neck, or so yeah, if yeah. you're wearing something a little bit more cut away in the back. Yeah. So this one now I've just altered. So you just um, pull these down. Oh my god! And then you can literally just put these wherever. So you can put it nearer to your neck, or you can pull it a bit further down as well. Some people have um, problems with straps falling off the shoulders as well. So yeah, that the aluminum bars down. tend to be a little bit more centred here anyway. So yeah. they are good for if you're full of figure and got the fuller bust as well. Um, and then the racer back just helps if you need that little bit more. I'm absolutely delighted. I didn't think I'd be a 36. Well, I never thought I'd be a 36 anything. Mm -hmm. But 36k, wow. Yeah. So when your dress size goes down, this yep. fan size really get, needs to go down. Oh, right. That's well, the measurement underneath. You yeah, know, I didn't think. Yeah, so we don't measure, but like I said, they all have different no. stretch in them. But. Well, I've been trying my best and uh, measuring myself, and obviously I got it very wrong. Yeah. So <laughs> it's always wise to get fitted properly. So Catherine... Thank you very much. That's all right. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Come on. Ah! <laughs> no motorboating at this time. It's too early. <laughs> oh, thank you, Catherine. Thank you. Perfect fit by Carol. And thank you, Elome. No problem. Thank Elome. you. Elome. Elome. From me, Antonella. Your Auntie Nelly, Queen of the Flower Pots, 36K. See you soon, Flower Pots, with a new review.